All right, so for this video, we're going to talk about the folder and file structure of a new Laravel 11 application. So we're just gonna go through these very quickly and then start building our app. So we have our app, which is the core of our application. And within that, we have HTTP where we store our controllers and we have only one file which is the base controller then we have our models laravel ships out with a user model by default because this one will be used when you install a starter kit and we will go through these when we build our application then we have our providers in which we have only one file unlike the previous versions we had multiple files for different parts but now we have only one then we have our bootstrap folder which is in charge of bootstrapping or putting the app together and we are not going to touch this folder then we have the config folder which has different configuration files for different parts. For instance, if we look at the database, you notice we have our default database set to SQLite or whatever we set it in the ENV file. Then we have the database folder and within that we have factories, seeders and migrations. So factories and seeders are in charge of seeding our database with dummy data for development purposes. And migrations are the files that are basically creating our tables within the database. So let me expand this and take a look at this create users table. In all of these migration files, we have an up method which will create tables with these names and we have a down method which will drop those tables. And when we run artisan commands, these methods will be called. So again, this is a nice thing with version 11. They put everything that is related to a user in one file. Previously, we had separate files. Now we have one PHP file with one up method that will create three tables for us. So we will come back here and we will make some changes later on. All right, so next we have the public folder where we store all the public assets. So for example, if you have an icon like this one or this index.php, which is the root of our application, then we have the resources folder where we have CSS, JavaScript, and views. We of course know what is CSS and JavaScript and views are based basically our components or pages. And you notice this welcome view has a blade extension. So that is Laravel template engine, which is very similar to Vue.js. So we will learn about the syntax and how to work with Blade as we build our applications. And we have directives that can be very helpful. And this page that we see in our browser is all coming from this welcome view. All right, so let's move on to routes. We have only two documents here. One is console, which we can use to create terminal commands. And then we have this web.php in which we define our web routes. So since we are building a web application, we would use this file. Now, previously, we had API and broadcasting here too but again they simplified this so we don't have them if we were building an API they have added an artisan command that can install that API document for us so we will get to APIs in future videos for now we just want to cover the core Laravel app and then we have the storage file where we store images videos or music and things like that and we will work with this one when we get to the part of uploading images. Then we have tests and vendors. So these folders we are not going to touch at all. Test is obviously for testing and vendor is all the dependencies our project needs. Then among these files we have the env which is our environment variables and it has all the information about our app. The name, the environment that we are working, the debug tool that is true, the database connection, the mailer connection, and things like that. So again, we will come back to this when we want to send emails to users and we would need to change these values. And lastly, we have composer.json and package.json. So these two files are just listing the dependencies our app needs. So composer is showing the PHP dependencies and package.json is showing the JavaScript dependencies. All right, so that was a very quick overview and we will learn more about these folders and files as we get into our application and we build our app.